VFX. Let's talk about it. So as you probably already can tell by my channel size, I'm a pretty big YouTuber. I've gotten millions of views across both YouTube and TikTok, and that's because I'm a VFX artist and I know exactly how to engage an audience using visual effects. And trust me, it's really not that hard, really not that intimidating. It can be hard, but I'm gonna be showing you a simple way to make it easy. Good thing you got me here, right? So this is a very simple and easy trick that you can use on your videos whether you're a beginner VFX artist, intermediate, or even if you're just a video editor. Let's jump straight into it. So, once we're in After Effects, we got our footage. I'm gonna drop in some HUD elements from ProductionCrate.com. Production Crate's where I get all of my elements. Don't freak out, don't freak out. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I literally use them for all of my VFX stuff, so. So you can either go to footagecrate.com and download these assets, or you could go to YouTube and download some green screens or something like that. Once we have our HUDs dropped in, we're going to click this 3D button on all three of our HUD elements. Now click on our regular footage, footage of the car. Right click, track, and stabilize. And then click track camera. And now the program is going to analyze the background for about 10 billion years. And now, camera's solved. So we're going to pick a point and create this little circle here where we want to put our HUD. Right click, and we're going to create null and camera. On this track null, click P, and then we're going to copy and paste the position onto our HUD. So click P on the HUD, or just open up its attributes, and then paste it. And then just resize, rescale, reposition to however you want it. Now we're going to repeat this process for the next three elements. So now once you've done that, do not forget to click these little icons down here, which will give us a little motion blur effect to make it look a little more realistic. And to give it even more realism, click on the bottom here and then click toggle. Toggle switches and modes. And then click where it says normal and then click on add for all three of them. This will give them a nice glow and blend it more into the scene. Now go over to the effects and presets panel, drag and drop the Gaussian blur on top of our assets. And then we're just going to adjust the blurriness so it fits our footage. Because we don't want it to be exactly crystal clear. If it's exactly crystal clear, then it's going to look fake. So just match the blurriness to the background. And then copy and paste it for the rest of the hood elements. So again, this will level up your editing skills, whether you're doing video editing or VFX. Obviously, this is a VFX channel, so chances are you're doing this for VFX. Simple, easy way to track the camera and put objects into a 3D space. 